What if the solar system's primary gas giant, Jupiter, is sick? Consider this. You found a strange red spot the size of a tennis ball on your body. It's unclear how it appeared, and the doctors only lift their hands in dismay. Even on the internet, no one can tell what it is. Meanwhile, the spot increases and decreases, and at the same time, it's flaking. Ew. So, what's actually happening? Is this contagion preparing to disappear, or is it gradually killing you? Of course, Jupiter can't literally die from the Great Red Spot, but it can indicate some irreversible changes, the essence of which we don't comprehend. After all, the most notable feature of the largest planet in the solar system is still one of the great mysteries of physics and astronomy. In this video, you'll find out how many red spots does Jupiter actually have? How deep is this giant abscess on the planet's body? And finally, why doesn't the mysterious Great Red Spot disappear? To make a correct diagnosis, it's essential to determine the exact date of disease onset. So, when exactly was the Great Red Spot formed? This sketch was made by the Italian astronomer Giovanni Cassini in 1665. His version of the spot seems to be not very large and just dark. Whereas in the painting of the Italian painter Donato Creti, it's already in color. The ignorant public saw it as a strange sea or the top of a gigantic volcano. However, astronomers immediately realized that it was the vortex of a massive storm. But wait, if we look at old paintings and sketches, why do we see the spot located in the northern hemisphere of Jupiter instead of the southern one? No planet has storms able to cross the equator. This inconsistency made some scholars of the past think that the current Great Red Spot is the second in the last 400 years. As for the question of how the first one disappeared and this one appeared, we just missed out on it due to decades-long observation gaps. But the answer was much simpler. Old telescopes showed an inverted image due to their optical features, and it just didn't occur to anyone to adjust it. Even in the late 19th century, the Great Red Spot was still depicted in the north. So, we're dealing with the same formation on Jupiter's gaseous body, and it appeared not later than in the mid-17th century. This makes the Great Red Spot at least a century older than the United States of America. Only the Voyager probes arranged the first high-quality photo shoot for the Great Red Spot in the late 1970s. By that time, astronomers noticed that the spot was slowly but surely moving along Jupiter's surface, just like any superstorm on Earth. Earth, but that analogy didn't add any clarity. Doctors always compare a new disease with the already known ones. What makes the Great Red Spot totally different from other superstorms? This terrestrial hurricane Irma, which took place in 2017, is very similar to the Great Red Spot when viewed from space. They're both even twisted the same way, counterclockwise. However, even the fiercest hurricane on Earth is almost twice as weak as the winds of the Great Red Spot. They can reach speeds of up to 650 kilometers per hour. A funnel of hydrogen, ammonia, and sulfur compounds can fit one and a half Earths within all its hurricanes. But the most significant difference lies in the nature of Jupiter's storm. A typical tropical storm that hits Florida or the Mississippi is a cyclone, that is, a funnel with a central region of low atmospheric pressure. And the Great Red Spot is an anti-cyclone with high central pressure. On Earth, it would be a powerful winter storm with heavy snowfall. Indeed, in infrared images, the Great Red Spot is obviously colder than the surrounding atmosphere of Jupiter. It's just that any winter anticyclone on Earth typically lasts several days, not many centuries. Scientists believe that on a gas giant, it's possible due to the absence of a solid surface. After all, terrestrial storms eventually weaken when they hit land. However, 
However, a similar great dark spot on Neptune lasted only five years. And on Saturn, the great white spot appears every 30 years to end up dissolving without a trace. So even the nature of the gas giants doesn't explain why the great red spot on Jupiter grew so big and didn't dissolve. To understand what's going on with this massive formation on Jupiter's body, we have to take a closer look at it. A doctor would call the patient into the office, but we'll look at the spot from aboard the International Space Station. What external oddities of the Great Red Spot will catch our eye? You won't believe it, but over hundreds of years of observation, scientists have never understood why it's so red. It would seem that this storm is composed of exactly the same gases as the light brown Jupiter clouds. But perhaps if we got up close to it, we could see that the red spot is something like a scab on a wound. That's precisely what chemists believe. According to them, a giant whirlwind raises organic compounds from the depths of Jupiter into the upper atmosphere. Otherwise, those compounds wouldn't end up there. And under the influence of solar ultraviolet radiation, they form substances called tholins that have a distinctive dark red shade. And those same tholins color Pluto's planes. However, even tholins can explain why the great red spot turns pale from time to time, and that's not the only unexplained transformation it faced. In old drawings, the Great Red Spot is so enormous that it would fit three Earths in a row at once, and that's not an exaggeration. Using the Hubble telescope, we've observed the oval Great Red Spot gradually decreasing and rounding for 30 years, and at the same time, it's flaking. Fragments the size of North and South America taken together peel off from the vortex now and then. This led some scholars to suppose that the great red spot on Jupiter's body would dissolve on its own in the next 20 years. But on the contrary, the wind speeds on its edges are increasing. It does not look like a weakening storm. And to try to understand what drives it, let's dive into its heart. What mysteries can lurk beneath the Great Red Spot? To launch the probe from our space station, we'd have to fly right over the Great Red Spot. And even hundreds of kilometers above it, we'll feel a push. This gravitational anomaly was discovered by the Juno spacecraft in 2017. As it flew over the spot, its radio signal was so distorted, it was as if it hit a tremendous gravity pocket. What this means is that there's a huge mass concentration under the surface of the Great Red Spot. It's almost as if there's another planet hiding in the heart of Jupiter's biggest storm. But what is it really? As we descend into the red spot, the thermometer column on our probe will also turn red. The temperature will rocket from Jupiter's record-breaking cold of minus 172 degrees to the heat of 226 degrees at a depth of 220 kilometers. It's almost like the difference between liquid nitrogen and molten tin. It used to be believed that the base of the storm was somewhere here, in the shallow subsurface. However, the microwave study of Juno showed that the Great Red Spot delves at least 500 kilometers into the gas giant's atmosphere, where the temperature should be even higher. Based on Juno's data, some scientists concluded that this isn't the limit. Perhaps if we launched a well-protected probe into the Great Red Spot, the jet streams that fuel it would be detected at a depth of up to 3,000 kilometers. It turns out that the Great Red Spot is an immense overheated atmospheric engine, which for some reason doesn't lose energy for centuries. In other words, it's not just an abscess on Jupiter's body. It's a tumor that affects many tissues and feeds on its juices. So what's our gas patient waiting for? Even with our best models, it's still a medical mystery of cosmic proportions.
Though we do have one intriguing clue. In the late 90s, a similar formation emerged from a few smaller vortices in Jupiter's atmosphere. NASA dubbed it the Red Spot Junior, and its development has been closely monitored since then. Who knows, maybe this newcomer will take its place when the big red tumor on the planet's body dissolves. Or do you think all Jupiter will eventually get covered in spots? Well, over the next few decades, we'll be following the history of this mysterious space disease together.